Oh man, oh man, patch 10.1's here. Let's do this. Let's look up these patch notes. Yes, they're finally here. Alright. Let's go. And let's see these patch notes. Uh, um, is this it? Uh, am I looking at the right? 10.1? What is this? What. The. Heck. Okay, so, I've been dealing with a lot of Smash Bros patches for a while now, as you all have as well. And, you know, every time I've gone to review a patch, you know, do a video on it, play around with the changes, you know, I've always felt it was a little underwhelming, but we were still getting changes. These are balanced changes, so you'd think that we would be able to actually get some character changes, but... Patch 10.1.0 is, I think, the biggest insult to a balance change patch I've ever seen in Smash and maybe any fighting game ever. Like, I'm going to show you, I'm going to put it up on the screen right now, I can... These are literally all the balance changes. I can fit them on a single screen without having to scroll at all. So what are these changes anyway? They're an insult. That's what. They're multi-hit fixes. They fixed... They fixed about eight characters. And they were all multi-hit and hitbox fixes. Fox, Luigi, Zelda, Pichu, Zhang Link, Toon Link, Al Alamar, Rosalina Luma, Me Gunner, and Duck Hunt. That's it. We didn't get any substantial buffs for anybody. Nothing for the low tiers like Ganondorf and Little Mac who so desperately need a little bit of attention. And the top tiers didn't even get changed. And the online top tiers, which make this game a living hell for anyone playing? Nope, they didn't get changed either. I don't know what the developers are thinking if I'm being totally honest. So much jank with that one character alone that they should have at least fixed that, if anything. And... You know, I've been questioning, what is the meaning of this? Why? I, I don't even- I haven't- I'm not even going to make a video on this. Usually I make a patch video about all the all the different changes, but there's no point. There's no actual changes. But, after going on the Smash Bros. Reddit and taking a look, one particular Redditor, who I'm not going to name, happened to shed some light on this by saying that Sakurai had mentioned in a pick of the day post how difficult it was having no in-person testing since the pandemic started, and then it makes a lot more sense to me. Without in-person testing, the only data they have to go over is Elite Smash, and that's not very accurate because certain characters are better and certain characters are worse when it comes to online play due to the lag. For example, Sonic is an absolute nightmare in online and even makes Little Mac blow tier instead of trash tier. Another point that was made is that it's the time between Steve and Sephiroth had been so small that there just wasn't enough time to come up with any any significant balance changes, and that also makes sense. But, this is a worrying sign if this is all we're going to be seeing from Smash Ultimate in the future. We definitely need more balance changes. The roster, while way more balanced than it was in the beginning, and still the most balanced Smash game to date, it still has issues, and I'm really hoping that they get- that they can work on them and improve the game. On a more positive note, Zephyroth is definitely a really cool character, and I also appreciate how they updated Cloud's Final Smash for certain- certain skins of his. I'm really digging the, the new remixes as well. It's nice that, that Square agreed to have more than two tracks in this game. They really- Final Fantasy music is amazing. Even though I actually haven't played any of the Final Fantasy games before. Maybe I should start one day. But yeah, that's about it for this video. It's very disappointing that we didn't get any real substantial changes. I really would have liked Little Mac buffs, but I complain about that every patch regardless of what happens. Before we go, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my friend Jigsaw Tunes on YouTube. He does awesome animatics and animations for... along with voice acting, and... I hope you could give his channel a look, and maybe even subscribe to him. I'm going to link his channel up in the top, if you just want to check him out. And with that, I just have to say, make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.